Tia Barr with Real TV Films here at Loyal Studios with Bob Beckian of Loyal Studios. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here to talk about your film, Venice 13, which looks like a very, very exciting film. Can you tell me about it? Sure. Uh, Venice 13 is a project that we are producing um, that is based on a true story. And uh, there's a, a division in the LAPD that's actually made up of criminals. And a lot of people don't know about this division, but that's oh. what Venice 13 is. It's Precinct 13 uh, in Venice, California. And uh, uh, some of the worst of the worst were recruited to take down the worst of the worst. And it's actually been a successful program that has um, broken up some pretty bad drug rings and uh, child pornography rings and some pretty bad stuff that's going on. So. Um, it's an interesting story. It's very action-packed. The interesting thing about it is it's cast with a very ethnic cast. So um, it really reflects the flavor of the people of Los Angeles at this time. And um, we're really excited about it. There's a lot of um, interesting people involved like um, Danny Trejo and Michael Madsen. Um, uh, and there's uh, some incredible action shots that we've just done um, that are going to be up pretty soon. It hasn't been picked up yet, but we definitely have a lot of interest from FX and um, a couple other channels that are sort of vying for the um, slot. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. Oh, that's really exciting. You're not only the creative executive producer, but you're also a co-writer. Did this uh, stem from any stories that you grew up with, or what was your main inspiration behind writing a film like this? Um, I was actually grew up in Venice. So I, when I grew up in Venice, it was pretty hardcore. Um, the South Shore Crips uh, gang was ruled the, the area down there. And um, it, there was dr lots of drugs, lots of hippies, burnouts, and it was a very dangerous place. Now it's a different story. It's much more gentrified, and it's not the same as it was. But back in the late 60s and the 70s, it was a, a pretty dangerous place. And so um, that division of the LAPD was set up down there. Um, in the 80s, actually, and that's where um, uh, things started to sort of turn around from that point in that area of the city, and then that's moved down into South Central L.A., East L.A., and some of the places where there's some pretty bad crime. Yeah, you know, that's interesting because I've personally lived in Venice for eight years and mm -hmm. lived off Brooks, and, you know, you hear all these weird stories about one block being safe and then you don't want to live on the next block, right. and it seems like they're pushing it south and south and south. Right. Um, is this division still alive down there, or is this... Is this still going on? Um, well, secretly, yes. And that's the interesting thing about it is it hasn't been publicized. They never take credit for the bust that they do. But it's a true story, and it actually is happening. So um, I think it's a story that needs to be told. It's interesting. It's not like every other cop show that's out there because it really deals in the, the underneath layer of um, the worst people helping to actually take down the worst people. And um, um, there's actually a lot of action, a lot of, um, it's, it's fairly violent, but um, I would say rated R. Not PG-13, but it's rated R. So that's why it's being picked up on cable. Wow. Yeah. Sounds juicy. Yeah. Sounds fun, that's exciting. Fun. Mm -hmm. Well, can't wait to see it on TV. And uh, if people want to find out more information about it, where are they going to find that? Uh, well, the actual air dates and that kind of thing are yet to be announced, but um, there is trailers and um, images out there on the web that they can look at, Venice13.com, and uh, uh, please check it out. So uh, look forward to it. Definitely. Thank you so much, Bob. All right. Thanks, Tia. Tia Barr with Real TV Films.